Morning, welcome back. Another day, another vlog. How are you all, peeps? Good to see you all. Tough afternoon in the household at home in Perth, unfortunately. My little buddy Jack had an accident, and now we have the TV doesn't work. You think, no worries, okay, well, that's what insurance is for. I'll pay insurance, I'll pay a packet every month. 230 bucks a month to Amy, insurance. Australia, Amy. Let's get that sound right. And my lovely wife rang up to get it all sorted to get start the ball rolling and so we can get this TV replaced and told to go jam it up your clacker basically. Uh, nothing in our house is covered. We have comprehensive insurance, which I've paid for for five years at 230 bucks a month and they don't give a crap. Um, yeah, unless it's a flood, which has never happened in Perth, as far as I know. I'm pretty sure it's been here a hundred and something years and there's, Perth's never flooded out, so that's pretty much useless to me, Amy. Um, someone's gonna come and steal all me shit. Well, I'd hope that's covered, but they're not gonna break my TV. They're gonna steal it. So then I'd get another one, so but they didn't do that. Uh, or fire, so that's apparently all it's covered for. Um, as if there's a fire or a break-in. So this comprehensive insurance, house insurance that I've had for five years, which is um, it's apparently useless to us. Absolutely useless. Um, even though their website says impact and uh, damage and accidental glass breakage. So if I break a glass while I'm having a drink of water, well, they'll, re they'll replace me glass, but the glass will probably be like 10 bucks and it's 250 bucks excess. So that's not gonna happen. Uh, I guess I mean they mean window glass. Okay, well, that's quite handy, but other than that, jam it up your clacker. Uh, yeah, nothing's covered, uh, apparently. So yeah, just be aware of that, uh, heads up to you. Uh, as far as Amy's concerned, they can go jump off a bridge. That's ridiculous. Absolutely spastic pricks. Bunch of scumbags, typical big business scumbags use the fine print to shaft people on a daily basis. So yeah, what do you do? Anyway, life moves on. Can't do nothing about it. I just thought, yeah, just a, a lesson learned, I guess. Just remember that uh, whatever they tell you, they're just trying to get your money off you uh, and you're probably not gonna get what you want when you, uh, when no matter how much you pay. They'll just, they'll just find a way to shaft you, as all insurance companies, politicians and banks do. They don't give a shit about people, especially not in Australia. They may in other countries, but this country is well and truly in the shite. How oh, well, you get that. Thanks, Amy. Thank you very much. May all you go broke and all your investors drown in a boat accident. See how they get their money back on that. That'd be good. Rightio, uh, let's move on to some fun stuff. That was yeah, a little bit dark and depressing, but yeah, sorry. Had to vent that out. Had to say something to someone, and they don't care, so what do you do? What do you do? Anyways, uh, some good stuff happening today in the world that isn't in scumbag insurance companies. Uh, coming out of China, uh, the University of Science and Technology in China has developed a process where they can charge a lithium ion battery to 80% in one minute. So we've seen about the 60 watt and the 100 watt charges coming out through the phone companies and 15 minutes now to basically get to 100%, which is just insane. Well now, the next technology will come out the new phones will be 80% battery charge in one minute. So you can pull up a servo, shoot in, charge your phone, walk out and good to go for another for the rest of the day. So pretty amazing and very, very cool. Uh, they're doing so well in technology China at the moment. Um, it's just amazing. You just can't keep up with what the changes. That's three different charging uh, records broken in the last month, at least, I think. So it's, it's pretty insane. Uh, fish, over, over the fishing, uh, Abu Gas is released the Revo EXD Extra Distance. That's what it stands for. It's based on the Roxani uh, chassis from Japan, a JDM modeled uh, reel, 11 bearings, uh, aluminium frame, 
It's got the carbon uh, covers on the either side, eight to one ratio, ratio, so pretty high speed. Comes with a spare spool for the lightweight lures. Um, looks really nice, carbon fiber handle. A nice purple over black, looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, not released in Australia as yet. Uh, there was nothing on Abu's site, but in the States you can get it through Tackle Warehouse if you're into lightweight lures and looking for that little bit extra casting and you're an Abu fan. Uh, they do some great stuff and they're a fantastic reel, so definitely check that one out. Uh, you'll be able to shoot over the Tackle Warehouse, so I suggest it's probably your best bet, and check it out there. Uh, I think it's, it's actually premium uh, price, so it's up there with the same price as the Beast. I think so it's two, about 200 bucks US. So it's not a cheap reel, but it's so it's obviously a high quality one. Uh, definitely worth checking out for you guys that are into the casting. Uh, like plastic, like small plastics and stuff like that for bass and rim, I think this could be a good option for you. Staying on fishing reels for a little bit, we did talk in the 2019 video from iCast. If you haven't seen that video, you'll be able to go to our video list and check it out. Um, the Stratic uh, FL uh, reel. It's uh, been released, it was coming out. It's now available and it's available also in Australia, which is fantastic. Now, remember they did say at the show that this is basically a Stella rebadge. So it's the old model Stella rebadged as the Stratic because they've upgraded the new Stella. Now the Stella's a thousand dollar plus reel. Um, so to get the Stratic, which is, it looks like it's around a couple of hundred dollar mark in US, so probably the $300 mark. In Australia, three to four hundred bucks, you're getting a reel of the high, basically a Stella in a for a cheaper cost. So when you, if you are looking for a reel and you're looking for an egg beater, um, definitely go check that out. That is going to save you five to six hundred bucks. You can send to spend on lures and line uh, or a nice rod to go with it, and it's going to give you a premium reel. It's got everything in it, it's Hagney, um, Micro Module 2, Silent Drive, it's got a long stroke spool, pretty much, as I said, this is, this is probably one of the best buys you can get in an egg beater, um, <clears throat> without a doubt in this, with this current range, it's just been released. So yeah, getting ready for the new season next year at fishing, and you into that uh, one, and you're not a bait caster, uh, you don't use a real, real, real. Real, real. <laughs> um, go check that out. Definitely worth the the money. I think uh, you can't go wrong with that one. Now, uh, Canada Goose Company. They uh, they sell clothing, goose down, obviously inside uh, Antarctica, Arctic, bloody all that sort of area. Warm weather. They do jackets, pants. They do pretty much everything. It's super premium cost. Thousand bucks for a jacket. So you uh, Canadian or US. So mega mega dollars. So probably that's not really what I want to talk. It's nice clothes, but definitely can't afford them. Um, they've opened up a new shop in Toronto, and it is basically no stock. So you don't buy anything in the shop. You go in and test the, the gear. So it's got freezer rooms in there, minus 20 degrees, uh, all that sort of stuff, snow, cold temperatures. So you put on a nice warm jacket, Instead of trying a warm jacket on in a hot shop, which is most shopping centres uh, or malls, you call them over there, uh, you try this jacket on in a freezing environment and actually see if it works, which is a brilliant idea. And I think it's the way shopping retail shopping centres are going to go. They'll start get, and then it just you put your order in a computer at the end, and it gets delivered that day. It won't happen in Australia delivery that day. That's that's just that's just dreamland. That uh, we don't have customer service here. We shipped that out years ago. But uh, I think the idea of the concept of the store where you just go in and test things and try stuff on is brilliant and I think that's the way forward. That'll be, that's the really, the idea of this. So yeah, I've chucked a photo in below, but definitely check it out. I wouldn't be surprised like your swimming shorts and your, all those uh, surf shops we have, they start putting swimming pools in with heat lamps on so it's 42 degrees and you can jump in the water and see what the, see what a pair of boardies feel like in the water and stuff like that. Um, shoes, a little running track through the mall, you can go for a run and test them out and stuff like that. So I think that's probably the way of the future and it'll be more testing uh, the clothes in the shop and actually make sure you're happy. Because um, it must cost them a fortune in returns for these companies. And that way if people test it and they try it on, they still buy, well then 
there's no real need to return it because they are 100% sure before they buy it. So that was really, really cool. I thought that was a brilliant idea and Canada Goose Company just leading the way. That's like brilliant. Right, uh, iPhone 2021, iPhone stuff. Um, there's a fair bit happening in there. Uh, 2021 iPhones to have no lightning port, no charging, at what's no cord whatsoever. It's going to be fully wireless. Uh, that's the rumours. 2021, uh, big things happening there. Uh, also, there's going to be another third phone open up in the first quarter of next year. The iPhone SE. Uh, it's going to be called the iPhone 9. So there'll be three early in the year in March, and then two at the end. So a lot happening with iPhones in 2020. And that's about it. Right oh, hey. yeah, good day. Good day for tech, bad day for me and a TV at home. Poor little Jack, um, little buddy. You get that, that's life. Uh, but yeah, just, just a heads up for insurance. Make sure you're not paying for stuff that you're not gonna get anyway. So yeah, we'll go from there. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we'll see you all Sunday. Have a good night out tonight. Have a couple of drinks for me, a nice glass of red. And we'll see you all in the morrow. Wherever you are coming or going, we'll see you all soon. Ciao.